Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Um back exactly where we were at the end of the last episode. And I'll be quite honest with you, I have actually done this next bit. I actually filmed this episode. I went to check it and for some unknown reason Shadow Play hadn't recorded any of the audio again whatsoever. Of course I forgot to check it before I started recording. And so luckily I had this save to go back to. So I've gone back to this and uh, it looks like I'm doing the whole episode all over again. Right, so we've just talked to Pincer. Um, we've got no updates on that. First of all we need to check these crates. Nada. What have we got here? We've got Dietmar's Thugs and we've got Dietmar, who is, if I remember rightly, according to Conrad, Dietmar is probably trying to launch from one of the secluded beaches in the area, so he's the update for this. Cecil's Marty staff. So let's have a word with him. I think we can talk to him. Yes, we can. And I hope the fight goes as well as it did last time. Alright, here we go, Dightmar. Oi, put that away, quiet now, can't you see we've got company? Ahem, hello stranger, what can I help you with? Tell me about yourself. I'm Dightmar, the leader of this little band of sailors. Say hi to the stranger team. Hello. Greetings. Don't mind us, just a few mariners enjoying a little beach party. Yes, mighty fine weather for some fun in the sun, isn't that right? Mighty fine weather, fun in the sun. <laughs> That's right, for the love of Pete, can you tone it down a little? Sorry boss, a beach party, eh? Yeah, that's uh, that's right. Me and boys like to celebrate a safe landing with some festivities on the beach. An old tradition, I crew. Festive. <laughs> Well, soon enough we'll be shipping out once more. You know what they say, you can take a sailor out of the brine, but you can't take the brine out of the sailor. Brine! <laughs> oh dear, what a dumbest. What was it about the staff of Pergamon? Oh, so someone's been letting their big fat mouth run amok, has he? Well, this little rumour dies with you. Men, two arms. And here we go. Right. First job. Spidey. Let's get, uh, get Spidey on Dightmar, I think. So you can attract his attention. And can we do anything else? No. Right. Ricochet. Let's try that on you. Nice. And we will put... Shall we put precision stance on? No, we'll put... Uh, our stance on for the time being. And combat. Ooh, crippled, that's not good. Ow. Ow. Right, all grey, what can we have you do? I'll get you there first of all. That gets... Ooh, nearly, nearly all three. There he does. What? Alright, okay. Uh, let's try and stun you. Damn it. Nice. Very nice. Alright. 
find you. Yeah, please. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, nothing else we can do. No. Yes. What's that he's done to himself? Right, Aubrey. Uh, yeah, get rid of him. Thank you very much, that was very nice. Uh, there. Whoa! That's a bit early than I wanted that to happen. Okay, right. Uh, let's get you put you need to damage somebody else here if we can let's try to yes it did that's good and spidey diet mar thank you Ouch. That can't be good. Oh! Oh! Well, whatever happened there, that healed Aubrey. Which was very nice. Can I use that? Look at that! Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> is it? Oh, I've got to use it on all the monitor. Whatever. Use it on those two. Yes, that's better. Got rid of one of them. Uh, you focus on this one. Nice. Right, Aubrey. Uh, yep, good one. Power stance. Yes, please. Come on, Spidey, suck it up, you can do it. Alright. Is it going to stun you? Yeah, oh, damn it! Oh, it stunned him as well, but it stunned all grey. Oh, God. <laughs> he knocked over Spidey. Summon new spider next turn, so I'll leave that one there. Nice one. Nearly dead. Oh, Walker is not stunned. 61 damage, nice. Ooh, nearly. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I'll try and stun you. Grand job there. Alright, let's get a new spidey up. Come on. Alright, 
finish him off. Thank you very much. And move into range of this one. Thank you. I think the spider dodged there. Did you see that? Right. Dightmar, bye. Thank you. Spider, you can finish him off. This is going extremely well. Uh, let's get you up here. <laughs> Love the way he over here bangs his shield sometimes. No, 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 no. Block, block, block or dodge. Just uh... blind that one. about the head severely. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll need a heal from Jahan. Excellent. Spidey, get in his face. Now. Can you reach? No. Damn it. Alright. Uh, which life has he got left? All the way. Heal thyself. Spidey. Thank you. Well done, gang. Little heal on jewels. Oh, Gray needs to heal himself. See what they've left us. There's the staff of Pergamon. And the chest. Squint at what we got. Right, let's have a Pergamon. Oh, like I say, we'd have done this fight before I did this, and it, recording didn't work, so I do know that that's not going to be any good apart from maybe Jahan. I'm going to send that back to Old Grey because I'm going to give that back to Cecil. I think, is it Cecil? Yeah, Cecil. 
the mayor. I'm going to give it back to him. I'm going to, be, I'm going to play it good. What else did we get? Bow the tour. Bow the tour. Strength 10, metal armor. Oh, it's got a lot more resistances. But only 5%. So we'll forget those. So we've got nothing of any consequence. No, we didn't. Great. Oh, let's check these crates, see if we've got anything juicy in there. I doubt it has. Oh, excellent, a fish. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Take it to sell it. I've already got one. And I think this is somewhere we're going to be coming back to later, it looks like. Right, let us head back into Sizeil. North Gate, and we need to be heading... Here. Give the stuff back to Cecil. Upgrade that quest. Yeah, we found the stuff of Pergamon held by the one named Dirt Mario attacked us and we had to kill him to retrieve it. Mayor Cecil will be pleased. Let's go and give it him. I found the stuff of Pergamon. What? You found it? Oh, this is excellent news. Where is it then? Give it here. Here it is, the Staff of Pergamon. Careful it doesn't wind up in the wrong hands again, Mr. Mayor. And we've got attitude increases. Wonderful or simply wonderful? Come, come, you must let me thank you somehow. I've got it. A free month's honorary membership to the Sciaseal Library. Perfect. Just what I've always wanted. That's it. My leaf. Okay. Right. Well, while we're uh, in town, there's something I want to do because I noticed in the episode I did that was recorded, uh, when there was no audio. I was looking around to see if we could further the murder quest. Mysterious murder. And I happened to just pop back into here to see if I'd forgotten anything. And there it is, a letter from the Duke of Ferrell. It's official. The Duke of Ferrell is the worst poet in Riverlock. In his defence, not much rhymes with murder. The Councillor's wife. We found a love letter at the crime scene. In it, Duke of Ferrell suggested that he and Esmeralda could be together if Jake were dead. So we need to go back to Esmeralda. And have words. Oops was in play here, all right. But that doesn't solve the mystery. Nothing for it but to keep looking for more clues. Precisely, Aubrey. That is what we are doing. Let us head in and find out what she's got to say about this. I keep finding all these clues about her, but I get the feeling that it's nothing to do with her. Alright, Esmeralda. My friend returns. The hunter returns. I hope you're here to shop rather than sleuth. Let us sleuth, shall we? Uh, let's discuss your husband's murder. So what piece of irrefutable evidence are you about to present me with this time? This love letter seems kind of incriminating. <laughs> oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion, and I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. So I've got a choice again. 
We found so much evidence against you, had you not better confess? But all of it is circumstantial. I have a perfect logical explanation for every piece of so-called evidence against me. And yet you will, you, you've been trailing me like a bloodhound. People seem to want to believe I am guilty. So let me tell you something I've been keeping to myself. Perhaps it may yet lead to the true culprit. Over the last months, Jake grew distant. Distant and dark somehow. Something in him changed. I can't quite put my finger on it. But he was no longer the gentle man he used to be. In fact, he scared me. It all began the day I met Evelyn, Master Theron's apprentice. She healed him of what we all believed to be a fatal wound he suffered hunting boars. I think he became obsessed by you, or obsessed by the secrets I just know she holds. Talk to this woman, there may be more to her than meets the eye. In fact, I won't be surprised she belongs to that sect. You know, those who worship a goddess without a name and practice rituals of blood. Tell me about Evelyn. I never liked her from the moment I met her. Men cannot see past her beauty. But I've gazed in her eye and it was death that laid back at me. She hails from Silverglen, a village in the forest north of Sycile. How she made it past the undead without a legion escort, I'll never know. Though I can hazard an eerie guess. If anyone killed my Jake, it must be her. She had her claws in him for many long months, and finally she must have cut too deeply. Okay, well let's just see what we got to sell before I move on. Because I've got some stuff I want to give you. I'm not using that, so that can go. Oh, that. Keep one of the ones just to give to one of the party members, I think. Sell that wax. Sell the crossbow, I'm not going to use it. I'll sell it. Sell it. Sell. 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 And I'm selling all this stuff as you do not have enough money. So let's take that off and that. And that, and that, and that. <laughs> oh, Nick, you're such a noob sometimes. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll get some of these. What's that up to? Right. Alright. Uh. She's got 373 left. Until we meet again. Right, so we need to speak to Evelyn. Which we will do now. Or attempt to do now. And she was in the healer's hut here, wasn't she? Let's have a look. Check the. Uh, saw Sunday's journey or investigation is progressing in me. It seems Evelyn was. Maybe a likely candidate in the murder of Jake. Uh, Kelsey's wife. Esmeralda suggested we focus our attention on Evelyn, their own apprentice healer. Right, so I've updated. Uh, let's discuss your apprentice, Evelyn. Far be it from her to tell her master what's in the Seven's name she's up to. The girl flew from here like she just heard the location of the Philosopher's Stone. She even left her pouch unattended in the next room. Most unlike her, to be sure. What about her pouch? She usually keeps it within sight at all times. Very strange that she'd leave it behind. It's in the next room if you'd like to take a look. Where do you think she could have run off to? I'd try her house for starters. It's not far from here. I'll mark the location on your map. Thank you. Very kind of you. 
I'll take my leave. Key to Theron's back room. Okay, we'll have that. Elaine's backpack. Take that. What's this? Folded shirts. Alright, let's go in here then. Exploration. Shut the door. We're not supposed to be in here. Okay. Chest. Locked. Damn it. Gold. Key. Thank you. Painting of a man. Thank you. Chest. Take that. Quick look at what we got there. Centre jewels. Alright, where's that gone? Centre jewels. I thought I did that then. Identify. Thirty six to seventy two uh, no it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be for selling. Alright, okay, nothing that we needed there. Mysterious murder. Theron told us that Evelyn fled into her and suggested we look for her at her house. Well, tell him on soothing a corpse's troubled mind. Can't have gotten far. Which is there? I've no idea what that noise was then. It sounded like uh, the window's noise. Door to Evelyn's house. Unlocked. Go. Oh. Alright, what have we got? A letter from the conduit. Whatever that is. I'll take that. Chest. Reveal spell. Got a feeling we're going to need that. Evelyn's diary. Alright, secure lockbox. Locked. Hmm. Good job, my weapon's unbreakable. Let's see what's in here. Old metal helmets, that sounds like an excellent thing to have. Let's have a look. First of all, let's have a look at this. Uh, we found a spell capable of re revealing Evelyn's hidden lab. But we'll have to be near the lab for the spell to work. Okay, I know where that is, I think. Right. Centre jewels. Centre jewels. Please be good. Ladder two. Oh, <laughs> look at that, much better than a pumpkin helmet. Send that to Jules, I don't think she's got a helmet on, has she? Evelyn's diary, read. <coughs> Once Dightmare arrives with this staff, oh, he was, she was waiting for the staff. 
I will be utterly, utterly unstoppable, how pleased the conduit will be, how great the reward she'll grant when she sees what I've done, and how I've renewed the counsellor. I have taken the necessary precautions to disguise the northwest beach lair from the prying eyes, so that only those with knowledge of the spell may enter. I do say Ahu's little terror taking control of Northern Path leading there was quite an unexpected boon. Alright, so it looks like we discovered that path too soon. Few are the fools who will face that monstrosity and my lair. Yeah, few other fools who will face that monstrosity. And my lair will remain undisturbed. May the goddess guide me. Okay. So she's got a lair on the beach, does she? Perhaps that's where she stashed Jake's body. Cool. Recipe unlocked. Blank water school, Jahan. Letter from the conduit. Evelyn. T. Tells me the hour is nigh. The king will live again, and when the knowledge I need to be I need is secured, I will be unstoppable. Redouble your devotion, for the rewards will be inconceivable. We shall meet again soon. Sign the conduit. Through blood her power flows, through blood her triumph grows. Doesn't sound too healthy, does it? Alright, let's uh, sort that out. Ah, uh, who needs to speak to us? Barda Tura. Really? My friend, we have done it. The secret lair of Evelyn is before us as our last. I will follow where you lead into this mystery and out the other side of it too. That's very nice of you, Barda Tura. Thank you. Right, well it appears we've got everything we need there, so we need to head back up to Evelyn's lair, and we will do that next episode. I think. One more thing we have to do before then. I've just noticed this, What's this? and I've noticed we haven't done it on this. So... I know what happens when I do this. So I will say... This is the end of the episode. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. If you like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. It's always very helpful. This is all great. Signing off. Alas, and this is farewell. The earth here seems to have been freshly fertilized now, and it obviously someone's taking great care to maintain this grave site. Are you sure you want to disturb it? We and our shovels will do as we please. That's right, let's get digging. You prepare to break the ground, you gaze at dirt beat your feet once more. Alright, time to get digging. Now it's giving me two chances there to back away from this. Here's hoping we find something worthwhile. You plunge your shovel into the earth, I'll take my leave. <laughs> there we go oh my god I don't believe I've done that I didn't save it did I oh it saved before we went in there thank goodness for that I thought I'd made an almighty mistake then alright guys and girls see you next time